I'm Elisa and welcome to First Fez. So the other day my friend and I were talking about bust lines and enhancing bust lines and making a fuller bust line and just bras and things like that and so I wanted to share a tip and trick that I've learned. I actually don't even remember where or when or how I even learned this but it was when I was really young and so I wanted to share this tip and trick with you. For those of you who want a fuller bust line, maybe for like a dance or maybe for some event, a date, who knows what. along to a friend who isn't as well endowed as you are. So very first tip and trick is to find a good bra. So the very first tip and trick is to find a nice bra with an underwire and of course if you want to lift, you need some support, underwire all the way. And it typically doesn't have to be padded. This one isn't padded or anything like that. It just has that soft cup where you know if you're cold, the world doesn't know that you're cold. But one of the tips and tricks that I learned is this part right here. Sometimes it's comfortable to have it all the way and the strap really long, but that's not going to give you that push and flinch. What you want is to move it all the way up as much as you can, as much as that's comfortable. And so when you put it on, what that's going to do is it's going to tighten and push up your bust line and give you a little bit of a cleavage. So you can do that with the same thing, and that's what I've done right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release mine so you can see the difference between a strap that's tightly doubled or a regular strap that's just kind of, you know, natural and maybe it's the clasp clip is like right there. So I will be right back. So as you can see, my clasp is right here. And so I can move it all the way to the front, but then it's going to be, you know, like really just in your face, just kind of out there, snack trays, if you will. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when I pull it all the way back. And you can see the big difference between having this little plastic piece right here or in the back. And this is after, where the clasp is way down here and everything's more relaxed. So if you want a quick tip on how to push and plunge, just move up that plastic piece. Alright, so my last tip is to put on your bra upside down. And you're probably thinking upside down like this. No, I actually mean to actually bend over and then put it on. What happens is that gravity will take over and that way you won't accidentally put part of your bust line underneath the cup this area right here, try to make this as professional as possible, but you know like sometimes you'll have a little bit of extra down here, but if you're upside down and you put it on, everything will plop into place, you can fix it a little bit, but that'll help you out and you'll get the maximum oomph that you need. And then if all else fails, you've got these little silicone things you can purchase. I have these from Go Shop Girl. I got these, I think maybe like a year ago, I don't even know, like a long, long time ago. So. If all else fails, just stick some of these in and you're good to go. Hopefully I've been able to help you guys on a quick little push and plunge tip. Um, of course, there's tons and tons of other tips. This is just for those who want to know how to do it. And if you don't need these tips, lucky you. Thanks again for joining me at FirstBuzz.com. Bye-bye.